Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky arrived at London's 10 Downing Street on Thursday to present his victory plan to UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer as part of a tour of meetings with Western leaders. The specifics of Zelensky's blueprint have been kept quiet but contours of the plan have emerged, including the need for fast action on decisions Western allies have been mulling since the full-scale invasion began in 2022. U.S. President Joe Biden postponed a weekend meeting with Zelensky to discuss the plan, saying he had to stay home to respond to Hurricane Milton's landfall in Florida. Speaking at a summit in Croatia with leaders of southeastern European states on Wednesday, Zelensky said he hopes his meeting with Biden at the U.S. Ramstein Air Base in Germany will be rescheduled soon. That meeting was meant to include about 20 Western leaders and defense ministers. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Tuesday that Ukrainian forces are maintaining the necessary pressure on Russia in the Kursk border region, which it captured two months ago. In his nightly video address from Kiev, Zelensky also announced two new sanctions packages on those who have betrayed Ukraine and also on military production in Russia. Третій місяць боїв в Курській області ми зберігаємо необхідний тиск на Росію на цьому напрямку. Детально сьогодні доповідав керівник ГУР Буданов про процеси, які відбуваються в системі ворога і наш на них вплив. Також була доповідь міністра оборони Умірова щодо деталей співпраці з партнерами. Сьогодні застосовано два нових пакети санкцій. Щодо тих, хто зрадив Україну, також щодо військового виробництва в Росії, тих юридичних та фізичних осіб, які працюють на терор. І наші українські санкції, наш тиск на ворога, ми будемо і надалі робити синхронним з усіма в світі, хто так само, як і українці, хоче справжнього миру. Croatian Prime Minister Andrei Plenković and visiting Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Wednesday signed an agreement on long-term cooperation and support between the two countries. Croatia is hosting a Balkan Leaders' Summit on Ukraine in Dubrovnik. The goal of the meeting is to rally regional support for Ukraine in its fight for freedom, Plenković stated during a government session. This summit follows the Ukraine-Southeast Europe summit held in Tirana, Albania, in February, where Zelensky urged greater backing for Ukraine's defense efforts.